Not many people realize how much work goes on behind the scenes every night to make the beautiful corduroy that people love to ski. Every night, when the lift shut down and the skiers head home, a fleet of 10 snowcats works all night long to transform these slopes. These are powerful machines with big 9 liter diesel engines giving us 350 horsepower. It takes a lot of fuel to run these machines. We do what we can to minimize our environmental impact. In 2011, we partnered with Yellowstone Teton Clean Cities to start using biodiesel to fuel all of our fleet. Biodiesel is pretty cool stuff. It's renewably sourced from fat or vegetable oil. It's domestically produced in the U.S. It burns cleaner than conventional diesel. It has a higher flash point and is therefore safer to transport, store, and use. And while it's a little more expensive at the pump, it actually saves money in the long term by cutting down a maintenance cost. Biodiesel has better lubricating properties than conventional diesel. Using this fuel significantly reduces wear on your engine. So we run biodiesel for many reasons. It's better for the environment, the economy, and it makes our mechanics happy. But for some reason there are still a lot of misconceptions out there. Our biodiesel B10 blend is good to 40 degrees below zero. It doesn't gel up, we don't have a problem with it. We never have. A lot of people think that running biodiesel requires an engine modification, but that's simply not true. Almost all diesel vehicles can run a biodiesel blend without making any changes at all. I'm happy to see that we use biodiesel here, but I'd really like to see it getting used in the private sector. If you drive a diesel car, there's no reason not to make the switch. It's a no-brainer.